How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to operate a tractor. Um, I guess I, I don't really think I've done a video like this. Um, basically I'm just going to try to tell you to the best of my abilities how to operate a basic tractor. Um, what I'm in today is a John Deere 4020 and um, like I said this one is hopefully very basic. Um, this tractor is a larger model it has a bit of a larger engine in it um, and aside from different 4020s it's a little bit newer um, this tractor has just like in your car it has this ignition switch here um, sorry that was blocking your view um, it has this and um, basically some of the older 4020s what they have is um, they have a switch like this, but you can't turn it to the third notch. It'll have a secondary button right there, where you see that little knob right there. And basically, you just gotta pull this handle down. Um, it's locked from going all the way up. But if you keep going all the way up on a different tractor, like let's say on an older 420, you come up to here, then that'll shut the engine off instead of just shutting off the switch like on this tractor. Um, but yeah, this switch is the ignition switch, and it's what cranks the engine. Um, so, basics. Um, this is tractor is a synchro transmission. It's one of the more common transmissions. Um, we have it in our 34020s and our 4230. Um, basically, what it consists of is... Let me clean it off. It's a little dusty in this tractor. Um, park, where it is currently at... I guess I'll move it. Oh, I'm not, I can't do that. Um, basically, there's two com plates in here. What'll happen is you can pull this down, it'll move the top plate. Then you can move it over here. See, so there's this hole here. And then, just as the diagram states, you can move it over and then up. And that'll put you into first. Then, if you put it over and down, that'll put you into third. And see, there's it says third two places here. That's because um, the handle will be um, loose in there, and it will move back and forth, but it's still in place. Um, this is one R. That's if you pull it down here. That's one R. Um, that's a slower reversing. If you pull it down to the second notch down here, just as it states, and then um, you'll have two. If you move it up, and then five if you move it down, and then reverse. It's two two R. It makes you move faster. Um, then down here we have four and seven, just like up here. It's the, it's the same idea, same concept. Four and seven. Then if you put the handle down in here, it's for towing it, let's say. And then down here you have sixth gear and road eighth gear, which is road gear. You generally, we only want to go eighth gear on the road um, or on a road. Um, what else we got here? Here we have the, um, I don't know the technical definitions of it. Um, let's just call it the accelerator handle. Um, basically what this will do is you pull it further, further down, it'll crank up the engine more. Um, and that puts more power to the wheels. Um, down here, this switch we have, this black switch, this is our lights. This is our road lights. Uh, I believe this is highway lights for like at night. And then this is fall for just lights. Like all your lights except for the road lights. Um, so yeah. That's basically it besides um, the clutch and the brakes and the foot, foot feet, foot pedal. Um, Alright, so let's say we're getting ready to start it up. Right here, this on the left is the clutch. Okay, basically think of it like a, a second accelerator on a car, except um, let's say instead of accelerating you faster, it accelerates you to a certain point. It'll it matches the engine to the transmission. Um, if that doesn't make sense, I'll start it up and I'll, I'll try to show you. Um, on the right, we have two foot pedals. Uh, these are left left brake for 
that wheel and the right brake for that wheel. Um, this little pedal down here, um, this is the foot feet. Um, it's a little, it's not very handy on the 4020s because it's, it's um, I don't know. It's kind of sensitive because if you're pressing it and you're hitting bumps, it'll bounce up and down and it'll make the engine go wow, 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 which isn't necessarily desirable. Um, what we have over here on this tractor, um, our older 4020s, both of these handles are up here. Um, basically, this is the hydraulics. This only has one hydraulic SCV or whatever. And then this is for the three point hitch in the back. If I push it down, it starts lowering. And then if I pull it back, when I start the engine, it'll lift back up. All right. Um, it's basically it. Um, for locking the back wheels, there is that, there's my Gatorade, sorry. I'm an addict. Um, if I push down on that, it'll lock the back wheels together and give you more traction. Sorry if my voice is going out. <clears throat> All right, so we're ready to get going. Before we get going, I just want to say, um, let's say you have a kid. Um, I it's my recommendation to start them off before they get their license on a tractor. Let's say um, anybody who really drives a tractor that I know has had a little bit more experience than the other kids. Um, I know a lot of people who've gotten into accidents who didn't start driving until they're 16, 17. Um, which is the legal age in Wisconsin in the U United States um, and then they have farm kids at our school because I live in a rural community that um, they really they seem more experienced than the people who waited to drive um, it kind of gives you a, more of a feel of a vehicle and it makes you less scared of them um, you can know better how to control it um, um, all three of my friends, my closest friends from high school, they have all been in accidents, and I've been in three accidents that none of which I have been a part of. Um, it's all the accidents that my car has been involved in have been accidents where people have hit, like people have either hit it or pe people were like someone else was in my car using it. And, they got into an accident with it. But I myself have never gotten into an accident, and I pride myself on that. Um, but knock on wood somewhere, even though there's no wood in here. Not jinx myself. Um, but yeah, it can be a good learning experience. Um, don't start them off on the road if you do, if you have a tractor, and you have a, let's say, 14-year-old kid. Take them out, try, try to show them how to drive it. Um, and tractors can be really fun, so... All right, so anyway, enough babbling. Let's get the show on the road. Um, one last thing before I start the engine is this is the PTO. It runs um, the PTO in the back, obviously, um, and it can st run your attachments. Um, if you pull it all the way down, it has a loaded spring on the end of it down here, and as you can probably see, it says brake. Um, that's just to slow it down. Um, and one of these, I'm not entirely sure what the name on these things are, but we have them all but like one of our tractors. And they are really nice because instead of cranking the handle around, you can just grab this and you can crank the wheel. It's really nice. Get one. Anyway, okay. All right, enough talking. All right, I'm going to start the engine just like a regular car. All right. PTO, PTO. Three point raise back up. Now, this tractor idles around 800, 900. Um, so basically, what I can do is, since it's not in gear, I can turn out the engine as fast as I want it. And it doesn't move like a car because it's not an automatic transmission. Um, so basically, I have a manure spreader hooked onto the back of this. Um, Push down down on the clutch. You have to be sure to push it all the way in because you can damage the clutch if you don't push it all the way in. Um, this enables you to change what gear you're going in. All right. So let's say I want to put it in five. I put it in this notch here, 
it's still free roaming, it's not in any particular gear. Here's two, and there's first. There's five. Now if I slowly let go of the clutch, if I slowly let it out, what's gonna happen is the tractor will start going forward. Now when you let go of it, you wanna make sure that there's enough power to the engine, they have it opened up enough so that you don't kill the engine. And given the location I'm in, I'm gonna have to back up before I go anywhere. So I just put it in reverse, slowly letting go of the clutch, and letting go of the brakes at the same time. trying to get it close to the barnyard so I can fill it up. Alright, I'm going to put it in six because five and six are my, my big gears that I like to drive in. Uh, but again, I just put it in six, let go of the clutch. Very carefully. Then you'll start moving. Okay? Now, once you get the concept of it, it's not that hard. Um, Basically, it'll idle at this speed unless I give it more gas. Then that'll get me going. So, um, again, this is just a 4020. Um, these are the very basic principles of driving a tractor or a manual car. Um, Basically, if you ever hop into a car and that third pedal that people always freak out about, that's the clutch. Um, it's always on the left, so you know which one it is. Um, basically, that's just about it for basic tractor principles. I'll try to show you some of our other tractors and their transmissions and how they work. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and as you can probably hear, I'm hitting bumps and it's making me the tractor bounce up and down. Because um, I'm using the foot, foot pedal. Um, not all tractors have the foot pedal. Uh, so, same. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video too. And keep watching. Uh, stay tuned for any more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.